folks, I am going to plant my peppers this year. Nikki bought me these things, patio pickers, and it's got an instructional guide there on how to plant. I'm just going to show you how I'm doing. I'm going to follow their instructions. It's a uh, sort of self-watering, it says it is, we'll see, way to, to uh, plant any kind of plant. I'm going to put six peppers in here, I think, though. Looks like I can do that according to instructions. I'll show you the instructions. This is the planting guide that comes with it. And here it has all the instructions. You probably can't read that, but you might go to their website and see. I'm going to do steps one through four here. I'm going to put the, this grate in that goes in it. And this uh, round part right here goes down into this part where... Uh, where you had this little triangular type thing, not not where the corners are. You see, it has corners here on the other parts, the other uh, three corners. But I'm going to put this in this direction. This tube goes in. That's what the, the water goes down into. So I'm to put that down in there like that, I guess. I can see how it's supposed to do it. Placing the corresponding rounding corner in the screen and pushed all the way to the bottom. Well, it's pushed all the way to the bottom if I go in there like that. There's no way for it to connect in. Let's look in here. There's not some kind of an insert. I guess it just stands in there once I get it in there. It doesn't fit over the top of that thing. That's kind of an odd design. It's like they to actually make something that would be round in there. But all I know is it needs to go in this area right here and there's going to be dirt filled in. I'm supposed to use potting mix. Hang on a second. Potting mix, not potting soil, it says. It's very specific about that. Pre-moisten potting mix by adding small amounts of water. Don't soak it. I'm supposed to pack all three of the other corners and then I'm supposed to add the uh, potting mix to within two inches of top, put some dolomite or some you know garden type lime in there. And it's very, very specific about the kind of lime. It's, it has that dolomite there. It tells what kind of dolomite to use. And then I'm supposed to put, I'm going to go on the back here, uh, more potting mix. There's sort of a trough that goes in there that you put fertilizer in. Eventually you're going to put this screen over the top, cut holes in the screen, plant your plants in there like that, and then you water through that tube. So we'll see how this works. It would be great if it works really nicely. Mickey did go ahead, they were kind of on sale at low, so we've got, we're going to have got four of them. Those are my pepper plants over there. Uh, you may remember this as, as like a sunken sort of, I, that was kind of a bad a bad experiment. It didn't work as well as I thought it would. And so we filled in with uh, gravel. I'm gonna eventually put some nice white pea gravel on top of all this, but I gotta get these plants in the ground first or in these boxes. Then I'm gonna doll this up a little bit better later. So let's, uh, let's get to this job. This is fairly moist stuff here. Packing these corners the way it says. Okay. There's that tube sticking right there. And next step is just fill it full, I guess. Within two inches of top, it says. Here we go. It's like a pretty good amount of potting soil to do that. About more like three or four inches from the top, three inches maybe. Let's put a bit more in there. Okay, that's probably enough. Okay. There we go. The all night I bought it was stay green, fast acting lime enhanced pelletized 36% calcium and on the back I checked it's calcium and magnesium it's what it calls for in the uh, instructions I got five pounds here it wants a pound each one of these I'm just going to guesstimate what's about where it stands up. Okay. 
add potty mix and to level with top of your patio so now I gotta fill it all the way to the top and I'm gonna create a two inch trough for fertilizer I just have to like dig something out and put some fertilizer down in the in the middle of it so I'm gonna do what it says to do this is just different to me different concept of planting friends that's why I'm making a video about it let's see if it works a lot of cotton mix in there and I have this fertilizer sitting there Weaver 10 10 10 and it's one of the approved mixtures or ratios they talk about in here I think it's odd that you put it right down the middle like that. That's what it's supposed to do. So we're going to follow the instructions. It seems quite odd to me. This is a foreign way to plant, in my estimation. I'm quite fascinated to see this going to work. This is what it's describing in the instructions. Secure mulch cover and cut X's in the mulch cover to for uh, field tube and plants. All right, so it's showing that there. Secure that thing and then uh, cut the holes in there. Showing scissors, I've got a little knife over here I'm gonna use. I believe this has a drawstring on it. it. Does so. I guess this is the top. I'm supposed to cut a hole out for the pipe. So I'll do that here just in a moment. Check that out. Crazy. Here's my drawstring. coming through okay I got all the soil in there and I guess the only thing to, left to do now is plant the plants and then put water down that hole water regularly use the fill tube to fill reserve reservoir and keep full the reservoir is full when you notice water flowing from the overflow hole in the side of the patio pickers box so there's an overflow hole in here somewhere i do not know patio pickers again that's what it is and it has casters if you want to put it on a uh, got some little casters down here wheels you know have it on actually a patio we're going to lay them on the rocks over here so we're not going to use the casters okay so now i've got six peppers i'm going to put in each, in each one it shows that you can plant up to eight plants in there i didn't want to crowd them too much Maybe one, two, three here. I've got these bonnie plants. I've got a hot cayenne here. my hole big enough that's the question I think so it's gonna sc scratch the dirt down in there <laughs> put it down in the hole who else is Nikki bought these for me here's a poblano poblano ancho hot pepper this one says a, a Cajun bale, Cajun bale. 
Nikki's just got me a surprise selection of peppers here, which I love. You're probably like, what has she picked out for me? <laughs> That's all right. Totally dig it. I'm just gonna be surprised. I see little peppers already coming out on this one. I know. That one has some on it already. Nikki, this is weird to me to plant peppers this way, but it's, it's gonna be interesting to see how it turns you know, out. This is how a lot of farmers do it, though. I guess they do. Yeah. I'll water the rest when you're done. Because we'll need this. Okay. I'll water the rest of my garden and fill the bird bath up. Can you check something for me? Sorry, folks, but he's got to check. Something keeps calling on my shoulder. I don't see back anything. Here. I don't see a thing. What in there? No, you got a hair on your shoulder. Yeah, just, I keep thinking it's a bug. <laughs> now you got a little bit of dirt on your shoulder. Mm. Here's a hot banana pepper. That's going to go in one of these. I know, folks. He, I picked out stuff for him because he's been so No, this busy. is awesome. And I hope yeah. it's things that he's gonna You're going like. to love them. Man, any pepper is good. He's just been a busy man. You know, I'm unable just a, to get to the store good. Folks, I'm a pepper freak. I love them. Folks, this morning he sat as he was talking to me and farted. You don't need to be sharing While everything in the world. While he was talking, he had a massive <laughs> fart and thought I didn't hear it. <laughs> yeah. Quite enough. He thought I didn't hear it. You didn't smell it. It's another poblano entree. <laughs> it's the way you that look on your face. <laughs> Fun at my expense. Okay, poblano ancho. This says giant Marconi pepper. I've never heard of one. A giant Marconi pepper. I'm going to this corner here. I hope it's happy in here with all this. All right. So I'm reckoning I've got it all in there good. Now I just need to fill up that water. And to be smart, I should move this to where it's going to see it before I start trying to fill that water up or I'll break my back with it. guessing this must be the overflow down here i'm seeing some water coming out so i guess we're getting filled up there now so that's how it will it works and so i'm going to do the other three same way same technique and i'll be checking back periodically and show you how this stuff works if it works i think it will but it's kind of an interesting way to plant isn't it so here they all are I was, uh, we actually didn't have as many peppers as I thought. I could have put one less in here and put it over there. That's all right. We'll see how these things go. This is in a kind of an experiment anyway. So we'll see how these, how these do over the next month or so. And I'm gonna put one more in that hole. We'll go back by one. There's one extra hole in this one out here that I didn't have to fill up. Over here beside the blueberry bushes. We actually have some rogue asparagus coming up over here. <laughs> it's crazy, ain't it? Wow, rogue asparagus in the asparagus field. We've harvested about as much as we can get. The dog loves to eat it and give him a couple of little spikes over here of it. Here's one, there's another one over there. Here's how the peppers are doing so far. Looks like they're growing pretty well, prospering. Nikki put a little one over there to the right. Yeah, I seem to like this. I see got some small peppers starting to sprout out there on these they're blooming one died right there we don't quite know why but it died right there in that hole so far so good see we've got a ladybug on top of that one i don't guess that's anything to be concerned about we'll see how these bear if they bear hopefully they will at least some of them are blooming let's see some little peppers getting ready to start very cool. 